Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to March. I'm Chris Brown. It's time for your week in review from ClarkCountyToday.com. Well, it was breaking news on Thursday. Vancouver police involved in a deadly shooting for the second time in just over a week. This time downtown near the share house, bystanders called police on a man they said was waving a gun and pointing it at himself and others. Responding officers said the man who has not yet been identified brandished the weapon at them. Two officers opened fire, killing the man at the scene. They are on paid leave while the regional major crimes team investigates. Some wild weather earlier this week. Strong winds brought down a tree across the northbound lanes of I-5 in Salmon Creek on Tuesday, temporarily blocking traffic. Washtenaw crews were able to get the freeway back open in about an hour and a half. A new day at Evergreen. John Steech resigned this week as superintendent of Clark County's largest school district. It's still unclear what led to the sudden departure, but a district spokesperson says he did not involve any misbehavior on Steech's part. The resignation agreement will pay Steech over $300,000, which is a year's pay, plus vacation time and more. Mike Merlino, the district's chief operating officer, will take over as interim superintendent. Merlino promises the upcoming budget discussion, which is sure to involve some uncomfortable cuts, will be open and transparent. The situation between Clark County and the operator of the Talachi Prairie Rail Line keeps getting uglier. Eric Temple, president of Portland Vancouver Junction Railroad, says the county is trying to push him out after 15 years of running the line. Temple claims the county wants a larger share of any profit from freight rail dependent development along the line near Brush Prairie. Council Chair Eileen Quirine refutes that claim but says there are issues with the lease that need to be cleared up. The two sides are set for mediation later this month but appear to be gearing up for what could be a messy lawsuit. Well, have you ever heard of New Athlete? They're a sophisticated training gym and they've been helping athletes achieve more in Clark County for close to 20 years. Dr. Ryan Paul says his heart behind the program is instilling new confidence into the athletes people will never give a second thought to. New Athletes trains everyone from high schoolers to NFL prospects and players. Some 6,000 athletes have benefited from the training and now the staff is expanding as new opportunities are being pursued. Be sure to check out the story of restoration and enlightenment happening at New Athlete. In sports, the final week of high school basketball has been good to Clark County fans. Going into today's games, there are four teams still with a chance to win state titles. The Prairie Girls are playing in the Class 3A semifinals in Tacoma this afternoon. Later today, the Washougal Girls are in the 2A semifinals in Yakima. Then there are the La Center Boys and Kingsway Christian Boys, both in the 1A semis in Yakima. It's possible we will have an all Clark County final there. That would be crazy, right? March Madness indeed. Be sure to keep checking ClarkCountyToday.com for full results and follow Paul Valencia on Twitter at ValenciaCCT for up to the moment updates. That's a quick look at some of the stories you'll find new this week at ClarkCountyToday.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to see when stories are posted and be part of the conversation. You can also send us story tips and ideas through the email news at ClarkCountyToday.com. For all of us here at Clark County Today, I'm Chris Brown. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.